Hi everyone, this is Random Design, and here is now finally a short video about how I built my Doctor Who inspired case mod, Dalek Death. At the beginning, I spent some time creating a detailed 3D model of the mod. I transferred all measurements from scratch to the plywood, which I used to build the base. Individual pieces for the front were cut with respective angles, sanded and attached to the central base using glue and screws for stabilization. Smaller gaps were closed with filler and after sanding everything was covered with a thin layer of spray filler. Next, the main construction. The two wooden pillars I glued and screwed to the base will not only be the second level, but serve also as mounting for the doors. In the back plate I already cut two openings where I will install the radiators of the water cooling later on. At the bottom side I attached and soldered LEDs for a smooth underbase illumination. I designed wheels and 3D printed them. To improve grip, I surrounded them with rubber foam. Two smaller flippable wheels allow manual moving of the Dalek if he's not connected to electricity. After coloring, the basic construction was done. Then I started with the doors. Time for sanding. The side panels were all cut from plywood with individual angles and assembled to form the door. They were glued and fixed by screws. The surface was smoothened by continual steps of sanding and filling. Finally I applied spray filler. For the applications on the outside, I 3D printed and processed 40 rings, which then were screwed to the doors. Then 40 plastic hemispheres were stabilized with expanding foam, primed, and then a custom-made gold tone was applied with an airbrush. The doors were colored by hand to achieve an old metal look. The hemispheres were attached with double sticky tape and fitted tightly into the self-made rings. Let's start with the next level. The basic construction was made from styrofoam that I cut and assembled to get the rough shape. Then I module details by rasping and smoothed everything up. Afterwards, my favorite part started. I covered everything with glass fiber and applied body filler layer by layer with sanding each to get a smooth and even surface. Then I cut the midsection into three parts to get two doors that should be openable. The applications were made from wood and colored in gold. On top I want to insert acrylic rings illuminated by an LED fading effect. I created a basic construction from wood, covered with filler to get rid of the typical wooden structure. Then I cut the individual pieces of the illuminated rings from acrylic glass. For the running light effect I used a microcontroller that I soldered on a circuit board. Let's continue with the head. I applied glass fiber onto a styrofoam hemisphere. I drew details that I elevated by thin stripes of rubber foam. Then everything was covered with body filler. And after sanding the removal of the rubber foam resulted in sharp gaps. The inner styrofoam core was dissolved by acetone. The mounting for the movable eye was built from wood. Inside the head 
I installed a track plus wheels and a motor so the Dalek could turn his head. The eye itself 3D printed and processed. For the ears I soldered a nice special effect. Exterminate! 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 Now time for coloring. And the first test. Terminate. Now I disassembled the case and fitted the parts into my mod. For the custom made water cooling I had to cut precise openings where the loop can be connected to the hardware. All cables were sleeved in gold and carbon black. I adapted motherboard and graphics card to the water cooling system. and assembled everything. The tubes were made of acrylic and can be easily bent upon being heaten up. I created two independent loops and filled one with rusty color and the other with blue liquid. But what was still missing? The Dalek inside of the mod. The basic form was made from newspaper. I inserted a wire to make the legs flexible. For the eye, I painted an acrylic glass hemisphere from the inside. The whole body was covered with several layers of paper mache. Then all details were molded with paper mache like the brain tissue and the eyelid. After sanding, the Dalek was colored. My work was sponsored by Newegg, Thermaltake, Asus, Intel, Avexir, Seagate, Vcolor and Gozu Mods. To see the finished Dalek with all of his functions, just click on the video.